today's business uh, landscape. Uh, trading is, is not for the purpose of survival. Uh, it is what differentiates and separates high performing organization from those that are being prepared to be fitted for barrier suit. Uh, training uh, the organization that built uh, the knowledge and skills and the individuals it's not for the benefit of the individuals uh, only but also the broader benefit uh, of the organization and we have seen reports and statistics uh, always we can read this in which we can see the improvement of for example the recruitment level in the organization the improvement of uh, the retentions uh, better outputs in those organizations as well as improvement in the risk management uh, environment in those uh, uh, organizations so I think the training uh, fits uh, hand uh, in, in, in glove with companies' uh, strategic <coughs> plan. Uh, if we have to think about a situation where we have um, a good uh, goal setting uh, in, in an organization and stretched uh, uh, towards a higher level of performance that is near to impossible uh, to see that organization is, is achieving the objectives without really uh, upscaling the skills of the workforce within the organization. In Qatar, for example, uh, maybe in the last uh, decade uh, or so, or for two decades, we have been focusing on uh, helping the government uh, to achieve its ambitious uh, growth strategy primarily relying on uh, the hydrocarbon monetization of the hydrocarbon resources. So we've been importing lots of knowledge and skills uh, into, into Qatar. The situation at that time uh, in terms of uh, the level of government uh, support has been very high. There has been a lot of uh, protection by the government. Uh, there has been a lot of subsidies by the government uh, as well. Uh, but I think I can describe this era as the low-hanging fruit era. I think now we are moving into a stage where we are trying to capture the value from the difficult uh, part of the value chain of our, our economy, which means we need a different set of skills. Uh, the other issue is, again, competition. Whether we like it or not, the local economy, the local firms are going to be faced with, with competition. Uh, the other thing is that the local capacity is not as big as used to be in the past. But at the same time, the capital base of the firms are expanding massively. Competition is increasing. The opportunities for growth for those firms are basically cross-border. But that by itself has an inherent risk, uh, either from legal perspective, uh, commercial, uh, financing, and, and investments. Uh, that will take institutions far in upgrading their uh, risk tools. And, and they have no choice but to go for the right employment, skill, uh, resources, experience, resources in order to uh, manage uh, strategic risk and also the implementation of, of the same. Of course, the financial services sector are the sector that's uh, attracting the highest level of, of the skills especially in, in the banking and asset management. We have seen in the last you know, uh, decade, uh, especially after the 2008 and 2009 
the crisis and the ramification of which is still continuing. <coughs> uh, and, and maybe we'll continue in the foreseeable uh, future. Uh, we have seen uh, crises at different level, credit, uh, and debt crises, uh, and also we have seen uh, scandals at corporate levels and the global uh, arena, which has led to tightening the legislations in the global uh, arena. Of course, those are the challenges that, that, that we, we see uh, going forward uh, for, for our uh, firms here uh, in Qatar, which we think this program will, will go far in creating the right uh, and necessary uh, infrastructure and uh, training framework that will give the comfort also for the, the players, the financial sector, and, and different uh, business sectors within, within Qatar. And those who are looking for growth opportunities in Qatar, uh, we are, as QCA, looking into, uh, again, uh, reinforcing our position as one of the uh, lead financial sector. Uh, one of the key success factors uh, for, for us to achieve this objective is that we need to uh, increase the breadth and the depth uh, of uh, the industry itself. And this cannot be achieved if we cannot convince others that we have a proper training infrastructure uh, in, in Qatar. Because human capital is, we have to think about other important success factor, I think that the most is a human capital. So that's why I think this, this program is, is really coming in the right time. And sometimes we say it's, it's late, but it's never too late. Uh, I think we have the right uh, leadership, Victor Abdelaziz, and how is bringing a massive uh, experience uh, in the education and training uh, arena. We have been honored to uh, appoint them as a CEO of uh, UFDA. And we have no doubt that uh, with this leadership, uh, support of uh, UCA uh, and the Financial Market Development Committee, in which they uh, frequently present his uh, views and his plans uh, to FMGC, and uh, he gets a lot of support at that time. I don't want to go into the details of the program because I will leave it to Dr. Abdelaziz to go to go through this. But the message is: uh, we would like really to see your commitment. This is, after all, our initiative. We are putting the resources behind it. I think we are expecting that you put some resources behind it, but it will be <coughs> it's a win-win at the end of the day. Uh, so please. Take it seriously. This is, in my opinion, you know, an opportunity to make a step change in the way we run business in Papa. Uh, so I would encourage you to look into this program, review it, the Karatazis and this team are always available to engage uh, with you. We have so many ideas actually on our minds and Yesterday we had our UCA board meeting. Uh, training, education is a top priority uh, for us. And we see QFMA as well. QCB are taking this subject uh, very seriously. Uh, the contract was signed between QCA and QFMA in this regard. And you will see things moving very quickly. So that's why I say. Uh, adopt to the proactive model rather than you know responsive uh, model which could prove to be too late if you don't uh, move fast and make sure that you have the right uh, defensive measurement in place by adopting to the best quality training to your staff. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.